So we could all do with raising a little smile right now. And, and there's something happening today in Liverpool that will do exactly that. And if the late great Ken Dodd was around uh, during lockdown, I bet yeah, he would have handled it amazingly. Much better than, than, than some of us. Uh, it's Doddy Day, first ever one. Uh, Sam Avery, comedy, comedy genius in, in Liverpool. It's good to see you, mate. Tell us what Doddy Day is and why we're doing this. The idea is Ken Dodd, he was obviously a great comedian. And he inspired so many people. But he had this big, strong message of happiness and, and the, the well-being power of laughter and humour. And that's something that, in a comedy trust point of view, we, we do all the time. So it felt like the two things were quite closely linked. And we spoke to uh, Lady Anne Dodds, and she was really keen to get behind the idea. And we just wanted to celebrate his life, but also his legacy, and try and sort of imbue some of that spirit into the, into the rest of the city and the rest of the country. And it just so happens that we need this more than ever at the moment, isn't it? We really do, we really do. And, and if you think about Ken Dodd and his life, whenever you see him, I know obviously most of us only ever see him on TV or on stage, but you'd never see him in a bad mood or, or moaning or complaining about anything like some celebrities do on Twitter or whatever. Just wasn't what he was about, was it? He, it was always about smiling and, and staying happy. Yeah, and if you think about his most famous song, Happiness, it's just that's kind of the message that we're trying to spread and also we're very aware it's not it's not just a case of saying just be happy just cheer it up because mm. that doesn't do any favors to, to a lot of people sometimes you need to give them the mechanisms and the coping strategies to be able to, to you know to find those moments in their life so we're doing a lot of online workshops we've got some great videos going up on on youtube today so you can get all of that on the, the it's doddyday.com on the website there's loads of videos going up we did a jam butty cake bake off with a couple of head chefs, so they were trying to make the best jam butty cake. We had, uh, it, it's just loads of fun doing that. And uh, we had a joke competition. So there's all sorts of stuff going up, but also loads of celebrities that we managed to speak to about Ken Dodd and the influence he had on them. So all those videos will be going up on YouTube uh, late today. Okay, and, and talking mental health, mate, it is good for your mental health. It's proven that laughter, comedy, you know, seeing a good comic comedian that you like, watching a TV show that makes you smile. It, it's good for us, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. It's all about kind of giving yourself a different mindset and a different approach to things. And one of the things I always say is that you can't affect what the world throws at you, but you can affect your response to it. Not always, but sometimes humour is a great way of doing that. Just by digesting it and, and processing it in a different way and being able to spin it in a certain way in your mind. And, and you know, I suppose the, the most one of the most common things we often say when we've had a bad day is, oh, if you didn't laugh, you'd cry, wouldn't you? And we say that, we don't really understand what we're saying, but I suppose the meaning of that is that we choose to use humour because it's better than the alternative. It's more it's more productive, it's more uh, optimistic. And also, it makes a great story when things don't go quite the way you want them to. It's a much better story than when the world works out perfectly. Now, at the moment, we'd all love it to be a bit more perfect. But at the moment, we've all got loads. I mean, people are talking all the time when we when we can see each other or virtually because everyone's going through the same experience at the moment. So I think humour is playing a big role in how we're kind of able to digest that at the moment. You you spoke there about, about comedy and and using using stories and you do that on stage. You, you had a show this year lined up. Was it Toddler Geddon? Mm. And obviously, we've seen you speak lots about about being a dad and and the the, the, the problems that that can bring. Um, what's it been like for you, mate, in terms of being a stand up comedian during 2020? Have you done any work? Just just explain to us what what this year's been like as a comedian. So I started the year off doing the Toddler God Toddler Geddon tour, and then the first lockdown happened, so the, half of the tour got postponed. It got moved back to the autumn, and then that's now being moved back to next year, and then some of it's been moved again to the, the tail end of next year. By which point, my kids, this is a show about having toddlers at home. My kids are going to be about fourteen by the time I finish this tour, <laughs> so it's not going to be relevant. I can't remember any of the jokes, but you know, I've got recordings I can go back and listen to. But in terms of kind of my own experience as a comic, it's been really unusual because I was gigging like four or five nights a week and obviously I'm not gigging at all at the moment so I've had probably about 10 gigs since September when things started to come back and obviously that's all closed down again now so I didn't think I missed it until I got on stage for the first time in September and I was like oh I forgot I forgot how good this feels not that I was very good because I'd forgotten what I was doing I was talking too quickly I was holding the mic wrong everything all these like little things that you take for granted are gone but because the audience was so happy to be there 
there was this incredible atmosphere and I think just the enthusiasm of everyone got got us all over the line but it's been been weird I suppose you've got to find a different outlet haven't you and it's the same for anyone whatever you've got the, people have got things in their life that make them happy and you don't realise that's a huge coping mechanism for you and when you remove that or it gets taken away from you you've got to fill up with something else and it can't always be something like to booze you know what I mean so that's not particularly positive so you've got to find something else so I started making videos for TikTok which I never thought I would because I'm 42 I thought that was for kids but I found that to be quite a nice little outlet I'll have an idea where does he used to do that on stage I'll make a little video and just stick it online it's just something to you got to channel these these yeah. things otherwise you, you just get I just annoy me wife basically I've got to find a different outlet <laughs> so using TikTok to do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> save me marriage <laughs> can you imagine mate 2021 fingers crossed it will be that year that first proper comedy gig that you do where the social distancing rubbish is gone and, and you can just get on with it and, and make people laugh it's going to be incredible for all of us and we have got that to look forward to haven't we yeah it will come at some point, whether that's early 2021 or, or, you know, fingers crossed it will be, or maybe a bit later on. But it will come, and it will be just joyous, won't it? It'll be amazing. It'll be, it'll just feel like I don't know. It'll just feel amazing. I suppose you don't realise you miss stuff until you go back to it after it's been taken away. I think for everyone, we're all kind of, you know, just people are just itching to get out and just just be around people. You don't realise these little interactions you have. You know, bumping into someone in the lift or whatever. It's just it makes your day. It yeah. does. It, makes it really day. does. And yeah, we're all we're all dying to just be in each other's company again, I think. Well, listen, in the meantime, until that moment, check them out on TikTok. <laughs> That'll make you smile. <laughs> and get on to Doddy Day again. Just just tell us where we can find out all, all this stuff for Doddy Day, mate. So doddyday.com, go on there. It's got all the information. And, and if you check back um, later on this afternoon, it'll, we'll have loads of YouTube videos up there as well. They're getting released. And uh, really exciting for everyone. So, yeah, thanks very much. Bill. Sam, thank you so much. Sam Avery. Cheers. Thanks for your time. <laughs>